Hello everyone, today we'll take a look at the best 50-inch TV in the market for 2023. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these 50-inch TV, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Number 1. Samsung QN90 and Neo QLED TV The best premium 50-inch TV the Samsung QN90 and Neo QLED TV combines Samsung's highly refined quantum dot technology with the tight control of mini LED backlighting, resulting in one of the best TV displays you'll ever see. Brilliant color and unmatched brightness make for superb performance, and Samsung pairs that with a bounty of smart TV functions and genuinely intelligent features, like a solar-powered remote control that eliminates the need to swap out batteries, delivering eco-friendly design and unbeaten convenience at the same time. The whole thing is packed into a gorgeous one-inch thick design that contains a huge array of smart features, potent Dolby Atmos sound, and some of the best performance we've ever seen. HDMI 2.1 connectivity comes standard, along with gamer-friendly features and impressive 12.6 millisecond lag time for an unparalleled gaming experience. It's the best TV we saw in 2021 and won the 2021 award for best TV, and the second award is the best gaming TV of the year. Until we see 2022 TV, this is the best TV you can buy. Reasons to buy. Beautiful, thin design. Neo QLED delivers incredible brightness. Impressive anti-glare abilities. New solar chargeable remote. Reasons to avoid. Visible blooming at times. Just one HEMI 2.1 port. No Dolby Vision support. Number 2. TCL 5 Series Google TV. The best value 50-inch TV. Yes, the Samsung QN90 is the top 50-inch TV on our list. But if you don't have close to a grand to spend on a new TV, the TCL 5 Series Google TV delivers exceptional performance for its modest price point. With the 50-inch model selling for less than $500, you get the superb color and brightness of QLED as well as the Google TV Smart TV interface, which offers amazing content recommendations. In addition to the excellent color accuracy and full-color gamut offered by the QLED display, it offers top-of-the-line HDR support, with Dolby Vision in addition to basic HDR10 and HLG formats. With input lag clocking in at around 10 milliseconds, it's also one of the best affordable gaming TV you can buy. And it's roughly half the price of Samsung's equivalent QLED TV making it one of the best values in smart TV. Reasons to buy. Faithful colors. Built in Roku smarts. Excellent price. Reasons to avoid. Mediocre sound. Modest brightness. Number 3. LG C2 OLED. It measures in at 48 inches instead of 50, but it's an amazing OLED TV. If you don't mind something a bit smaller than 50 inches, the 48-inch LG C2 OLED TV is this year set to beat. Not only is it the best OLED TV thanks to an impressive display panel, but a premium design, maximum versatility, and great smart TV platform hit all the high marks, too. What's more, the C-Series lineup is LG largest in terms of size, options the configuration span from 42 to 83 inches, all of which sport full arrays of HDMI 2.1 ports. Most also feature LG Evo OLED panel which was first introduced on the LG Gun OLED TV and now looks to upgrade the C2's performance. We can't say our test results for this LG C2 OLED TV review showed significant improvement, but to be fair, there wasn't much room to improve. Instead, what makes this one of the best TV of the year is that it offers fantastic picture quality for the price exactly what you'd expect from LG best-selling OLED TV series. Reasons to buy. Premium, lightweight design. 4 HDMI 2.1 ports, versatile performance, extensive gaming features, reasons to avoid, not LG brightest OLED TV, no ITSC 3.0 tuner. Number 4. Hisense Height G Quantum Series, a great value 50-inch TV. The Hisense Height G Quantum Series is neck and neck with Vizio's M-Series Quantum when it comes to the best value in a 50-inch TV. Like the M-Series, the Hi-G employs quantum dot technology to boost color performance. This slick-looking set benefits from a full-array local dimming backlight, which helps its contrast. The Hi-G is bright and sharp overall, and its low lag time could make it a better affordable choice for gamers than the M-Series. We did see some issues with blurring during fast motion scenes, likely a result of the 60HZ refresh rate. While its color reproduction wasn't as good as the M-Series, it was still respectable. 
Its implementation of Android TV is one of the best we've used, and almost any app you could want is available. You can also send content from your mobile device to the TV via Chromecast. Whether you pick the Vizio M series or the Hisense Hi-G, you'll get a lot for your money. Reasons to buy. Great overall value. Accurate picture. Deep Google Assistant and Google Home integration. Reasons to avoid. Remote isn't backlit. Feet feel flimsy. Struggles with face pace sequences. Number 5. Toshiba C350 Fire TV. The best Amazon-powered smart TV. The Toshiba C350 Fire TV is the 2021 addition to the small family of Amazon-powered smart TV, offering good features and decent performance for its extremely affordable price. It's a decent example of the Fire TV template, combining good enough 4K picture quality, impressively short lag times, and Amazon's great Fire TV smart features, like built-in Alexa voice control, a pretty big app store, and of course an interface that puts Amazon's Prime Video service front and center. With the 50-inch model selling for under $400, and likely much less during sales events, it's one of the smartest affordable TV you can get. The C350 doesn't come with the latest bells and whistles, such as HDMI 2.1 or Dolby Atmos support. But it does Dolby Vision and HDR10 though not very well. But with excellent color accuracy, low lag time, and a good-looking design, it's still a solid TV for the price, and better than many Fire TV models we've seen in the past. Reasons to buy. Responsive Fire TV. Good color in standard mode. Low lag time. Reasons to avoid. Flat HDR. Inconsistent backlighting.